This tutorial is to install Lion on the Lenovo G770 i5 system it's called Sandy Bridge. If you don't have the Snow Leopard 10.6.3, so it's not an upgrade, you can install it straight. Um, before we put it on the internal hard drive, uh, we use the external hard drive to install it too. So, so this is a USB installer. Uh, you can hook up a regular hard drive, 3.5 inch, which is this one. Go through the USB SATA adapter. Go to the USB port. Or you can use this little um, 2.5 uh, external USB hard drive also. But today we're going to use this one right here, which is a 3.5, the old one, 500 gig, Western Digital. What we need to install directly is the USB keyboard. USB mouse, um, an 8 gig with the Unibeast and a Lion installer. So if you don't have a um, Mac OS, you got to go somewhere to uh, to create this USB. Uh, it's going to be on my website anyhow, so you can go there and check it out. So here's how we're going to do it, okay? Plug this one in here. Now this is a slot number one. So you have three USB, one, two, three, and four over there, right? So we're going to start from here because for some reason the uh, resolution didn't come up. Uh, well, we tried it before, so let's start. F12 is to go to the boot device selection menu. Now, when we first turn on, we don't see the external uh, 500 gig that we have, so we have to do Control, Alternate, Delete, and hit F12 again to see it, to make sure that it's there there you go so it's right here now let's boot straight from the 8 gig Unibeast click tap okay boot it from here minus X is for the save mode searching for the mouse and the keyboard let's click spacebar there you go all right utilities 
this utility this is the external 500 gigabyte uh, Western Digital I already made a full uh, partition on it already this is a 750 gigabyte uh, Western Digital internal of this Lenovo G770 in this one I have a chameleon where I booted from Windows 7 and this is uh, the Lion partition so we're going to experiment with this external 500 gigabyte um, hard drive I'm going to install it to the first partition Unibeast Lion let's erase it again Mac OS Expanded Journal Unibeast Lion, okay? So erase it. Sure, yes. By the way, this is the 8.8 uh, gigabyte Unibeast Lion uh, installer, okay? Now, after I erase it, close it. Continue. Agree. Now, important thing is, I'm going to go to my Unibeast Lion partition that I just erased and prepared. Install. Let's check customize first. There's nothing to customize. Okay. All right. Let's go. Install. Uh, it should take about 24 to 39 is about, about 15 minutes so you can watch for it or you can do something else so be back in 15 minutes so it's done you need to uh, boot it and uh, boot back into using Unibeast again F5, I mean F12. Click tab. It will come up with this. Now we can boot from Unibeast Lion. Again, use the safe mode, which is minus X. So, for some reason, the screen doesn't look right. You see this? The screen is no good. I have to boot with my uh, USB drive, which has the uh, camera 1.54 and my extra photo in it. So, to get the full. Minus V, minus X, Unibeast Lion, Camera 1.5.4. Whoa. Beautiful. So now, searching for wireless. We don't have any, so we're going to put a USB in it. USB mouse. Boom. USB keyboard. Boom. All right. 
Now we're going to let them continue. Continue, 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 continue. Now create computer account, dog and monkey. Some password. I don't want required password when I log in. The password hint something. In 2012, continue. Choose from the picture library because the camera doesn't look like they see it. So choose one. Penguin. Cupertino. Using lion. All right. First login. Lion. Ten point seven point zero. This is the GM release version. What do we have here? Finder, preference, show all the stuff. And this Bluetooth, we need to kill this guy. I hate this guy. Uh, Bluetooth, advance. Remove, remove, okay, close it, quit, all right, so now, wait, system preference, what do we have? Display is only 1024 by 768. So, since we're here, go to iDog USB boot. And in here, we have a Unibis Lion which has all the stuff in it. So, let's load Modibis. All we want to do is each install. What else? Uh, repair permission. Application. No, we don't want application. We want system. Library. Extension. Apple HDA Apple HDA that kicks right here. Move it outside and remove it. I don't like that one. Okay. So, we don't need to put this one here. We don't need to put anything, okay? Uh, let's see what else. Miscellaneous. We're not going to put anything either. Actually, all we want to do is to customize it. Uh, okay. MacBook Pro 8.1 Software, what do we need to do? Just catch utility, that's fine. Continue. Install it. 
Uni Beast Lion. That's the correct one. Alright. So now the next one we need to do is to pull this guy outside. And pull this guy outside. We may need to use it later. Right. So is it done? Nope. Alright, it's successful. Now we need to do this. If you open multi beast lion extra. We need to take this one, which is the uh, the one I added it to clean up all the stuff for this particular uh, laptop. So sc screen tearings and uh, artifacts has been fixed. So we put this one, so you can get the correct resolution. Without that, uh. -uh. So the next one is to install all these nice characters. Networking. This is for Atheros. Battery Lion. And then, uh, don't forget this. Without this, there'll be no okay. Please install. Okay, done. So Now we can reboot and see, but this guy force close. It's not gonna hang. Text utility. To update all the cache and stuff like that, okay? Now, after this one's done, just reboot, and now we can boot straight into the um, the hard drive instead of going through the uh, UD Beast again okay we're done now we boot straight from the external hard drive it should work tap tap minus V no need X it's gonna go straight in get to see what's gonna fail Ta-da! Beautiful. Now, get out of my sight. Now, display. Show. Now, with the uh, edited uh, DSDT, we have the brightness. Okay. Now let's look. This one should have translucent menu bar. So everything should work on the graphics right now. Connect what we so let's connect the Ethernet. This is the Ethernet. Okay, let's plug it in see if it works. At work, Ethernet is connected. Let's see, Ethernet is working. Safari, all right. Now unplug this. Let's use Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, we see a whole bunch. Let's connect to our network. Join and remember, sit on.
Yeah. See that? Move from here to there. That shit is working. Still working. Alright, that's good. So, Ethernet and Wi Fi is working. Next, sound. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's working. Display is working already. Um, what else? I think that's okay. Sound. Everything's working. So it's good. All right, we're done. Oh, even a battery here. Uh, okay.